All right, so this is what it looks like with one half all set up and glued together. Um, for this particular truss that I'm making, I'm making it for a school project. Um, it needed to be just over a meter long, so I have it at 10 segments. But you can have however many segments you want because the brackets are uh, all the same. So it's, it's arbitrary where you want to stop. You could have it be 2 meters long, 3 meters long, however, however long you want it to be. You just choose by the number of segments. So a 10 segment truss requires 20 gluing brackets. Um, so right now I'll show you I'm printing the printing the next 20 so I can glue everything in place without having to remove any brackets. So these, these 20 will go on and uh, act as the brackets for the other side of the truss. And what I've done is I've just put a piece of coffee filter down over the plastic um, printed part. Then I go ahead and put the vertical member down into its little uh, into its little position, down all the way down, touching the paper. Then the vertical member and the horizontal member each butt up against the um, upright. And then you can put the put the diagonal members in. They should be just touching in the corners. So that's how it works. I found it actually surprisingly easy. One thing to look out for though is that um, barbecue skewers don't all have the exact same diameter. Uh, what I've chosen to sort of work with with these is a 3.2. Uh, millimeter diameter. It's just kind of like a a good average. So you'll find that some sticks won't work as for you mean when you open up a bag, some won't work very well um, because they'll either be too big or too small. But most should work. So uh, details as far as the lengths you need to cut. Um, are going to be in the description. Alright, so here is the completed truss. It's all glued together. So now the final step is to remove your little uh, brackets. So I've removed three already and it's just important that you wait until the glue has dried sufficiently before you try to do this. Otherwise, you run the risk of destroying the joint, but yeah, they seem to come off pretty easily. I found like the easiest way is to pry off the vertical part a little bit, so it'll kind of snap, and then you can kind of work, work it off in this direction. But as long as the glue is dry enough, it should come off without too much problems. So yeah. After that, it's pretty much, pretty much complete. Downloading things from Thingiverse is free, but you know it's not free. Cheerios. Cheerios are not free. I had to pay for each and every one of these Cheerios. So if you like what I do, and if I saved you a little time or, or a little effort, um, feel free to please send me a, send a tip my way. Um, I'd much appreciate it. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching. Burn! 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 <laughs> That's the bridge. Goodbye, bridge.